Hey everybody, apologies, I'm kind of sick today, but I figured I'm working on this project and I'd share with you anyway. Hang on, let's get across my messy shop here. One thing about an electric car build that not many people talk about, the house part of it. Um, now, my shop is a mess anyway, but that spot over there, that is directly due to me having to wire a new breaker, new heavier gauge cable all the way over here to an existing 240 volt outlet. I'm not gonna use AC and charge the truck at the same time here so I can get away with borrowing, basically upgrading an outlet um, that I already have. But I had to replace all the wire with a heavier gauge wire so that it would cover the specifications listed here. It takes 230 volt in, plus or minus, it draws 19 amps. Now that's the important part because we had 20 amp rated wire before. It outputs 144 volts and 18 amps. So what it's gonna do is convert my house power to my battery pack power up to 18 amps and it's gonna slowly charge the, the pack. Now, here's what I didn't know when I started this whole deal. There's 20 different outlet types for 240 volt. I had no idea. Um, so I ended up ordering the wrong parts the first time because they were all mismatched. Then I realized what I was doing. I was like, okay, well, my charger is a four wire charger. It wasn't. I misremembered. It's a, it was actually three. This is the old connector and it was a little damaged. So I wanted to replace it anyway. All right. Well, that connector is stupid expensive. All the cable for it's stupid expensive. I figured out that I could go to a NEMA 14-30 locking setup. So what I'm gonna do, step by step here is, so that I can still use my AC unit after I put this outlet in, I am going to have this neat little adapter. And it plugs into this guy, and it lets me still plug my AC into this guy. I'm getting rid of this guy. He's gone. I have replaced him with this guy. It's a different three wire and it's still locking, but how do I get it to lock into the four prong? Ah, yes. So this guy takes my three prong and adapts it to the four prong for this guy here. So if you ask Chase, why'd you bother running all that extra wire? Why'd you bother drilling bigger holes for your cabling, cabling up here and all that good stuff? because it was the same price, if not cheaper. So you're thinking about buying your own electric vehicle or doing your own EV conversion. Please keep in mind, you gotta figure out how you're gonna charge it. I had this, I figured wiring the house wouldn't be that bad. I will say I didn't expect to be cutting into the drywall, but sacrifices must be made. Anyway, EVs are fun. They are kind of like pulling a thread on a sweater. You're going to you're gonna keep finding other things you have to do here and there along the way. Overall, inexpensive. All this kit of uh, outlet adapters, even the 25-foot extension cable I've got here so I can get from my wall way over there to the truck way over here. All that, about 100 bucks. Having an electrician do it, put in the breaker and all that stuff. Yeah, you're going to run into some money. So don't do, don't be unsafe, but you can probably do this yourself. Anyway, that's it. Thanks.